Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Abel Sir Thomas, and today we'll be discussing some Dominion basics. Now this forging series is going to focus on helping everyone out there create matchmaking quality Dominion maps. Now if you need help setting up the Dominion game type on your map, feel free to check out the PsychoDucks Dominion tutorial. Now today we're going to focus on three main points. We have Alpha Charlie segmentation, the Alpha Charlie flank, as well as the Bravo dilemma. Now as you can see we're looking at Alpha on Longbow, and there's this large cliff face just behind it. Now this essentially cuts lines of sight between Alpha and Charlie across the map. The only way to really get a sight line on Charlie or Alpha is actually to move closer to Bravo, as you can see here. Now as also this is complemented by the Alpha Charlie flank. We have this one blue player that's taking it right now. This is achieved on Longbow by the teleporter system between Alpha and Charlie, as well as this beachhead here. Now this essentially allows players to shift between Alpha and Charlie without being affected at all by Bravo. This ends up causing an interesting issue to solve. Because lines of sight between Alpha and Charlie are cut, holding Alpha and Charlie isn't usually a good strategy, because you won't be able to support teammates cross map. So Bravo is the only territory that has sight lines on both Alpha and Charlie. So you, would, you need to hold Bravo, but holding Bravo takes a lot of effort and a lot of manpower because of its powerful sight lines and its ability to get flanked from several areas of the map. But you also have to watch the Alpha Charlie flank. As you can see here, we dedicated too many resources to Bravo, so they were able to take Charlie from us. They simply flanked around the back side of the map and just took our territory from underneath us. This, I believe, is the main issue that players face when they play Dominion, is where to dedicate resources and how to hold bases. So as we move on, we're going to show you some Forge examples. Now this is a Ravine Dominion map I've been working on. It's in very early stages, I haven't even gotten a playtest on it. Now we're looking at Alpha right now, and I've used the natural shape of Ravine to, to cut the sight lines of the map. I also built Bravo just on the, the middle and the lower area, also helps cut sight lines between Alpha and Charlie. This was actually very easy, easily achievable in Forge, and I used about 3000 budget to create the structures as you see. I also achieved the Alpha Charlie flank by utilizing the natural cliff side right here. Now I think it's really important that you guys build maps that have the Alpha Charlie flank so you don't have stagnant gameplay. And I think the, the Bravo Dilemma is really one of the main things that makes the Dominion game tight. Now, I definitely, this is just one setup you can do on Ravine. There's all sorts of things you can do on Ravine. This is just a simple map that I built in Forge in my spare time. So I definitely want to see some creativity out of the community. Now, this is Horizon X5's Fracture map. Now, we're looking at Alpha right now, and it's pretty nice. And he was able to achieve the Alpha Charlie segmentation by using the building that's on impact by default. So he, once again, saved a lot of budget and was able to dedicate it elsewhere. Now as you can see there's a 0G area in the middle, which I think was really interesting for gameplay because players were able to jump and duck behind all the crates and the floating debris. And of course it's he was able to create the Bravo Dilemma by having it have sight lines across through Alpha and Charlie. And of course his Alpha Charlie flank is achieved by these buildings you see on the outskirts of the map. They're really fun to push up into, to get sight lines on, to, to really just, they're, they're really great to play. Now guys, this is just a setup on just one part of Impact. You can use the other asteroid, you can build in the skybox, you can build this map completely different. So once again, guys, you need to be creative. Now, of course, this is Corrosion. Um, of course, my personal map I've been working on for quite a while now. I've been able to achieve the Alpha Charlie segmentation by having the natural terrain integrated with Forge objects. It was actually, this map sits around 5,000 budget it's my most budget intensive map. But guys, it definitely doesn't require a lot of forging to, to segment your bases and to create a powerful Bravo. I've also been able to achieve the flank by using the natural lighthouse. Now guys, there's definitely a lot of options on Erosion. I've already seen about three or four very cool Dominion maps on Erosion that hopefully we'll be bringing to you soon. I, I definitely encourage you guys to be creative. And if you want to learn Dominion, we'll be doing more and more tutorials. This is just a basic overview. But you guys definitely need to play Dominion. Go in matchmaking. Bring some friends. Go in alone. See if you can make some friends online. It's, it's really great. It's fun to play. 
and if you if you're gonna forge it you might as well play it now guys our next tutorial is gonna focus on base design and uh, thanks for watching subscribe and uh, yeah you guys have a good day